the New Zealand All Blacks aren't just a force to be reckoned with on the field. They're also considered the most powerful brand in rugby. Star players like Sonny Bill Williams are playing in the Seven Series, which has returned to Singapore after a 10-year break. And buzz around the game is reaching a fever pitch. There are only two Asian cities on the Seven Circuit, and there are hopes that this shorter, faster format is going to help it catch on in the rest of the region. Now, football remains by far the most popular sport in Asia, but with rugby's inclusion in the Olympics for the first time this year, there are hopes that the sport is going to grow exponentially, along with many business opportunities to go with it. Rugby is the world's fastest growing team sport. Its governing body has spent around $10 million in the region over the last five years. And the popularity is expected to grow ahead of Japan hosting the Rugby World Cup in 2019. World Rugby Chairman Bernard Lapasse has been crucial to the growth of the game. He believes that its future is in Asia. Development is different in any region. We have to adapt the solutions in different cultures that we have in front of us. Rugby is not the same in Africa that is in Europe. It's not the same in, in the South America and North America. It will be different as well in China and, and in Asia. Alibaba chairman Jack Ma is betting big on the sport as well. His company recently signed a deal to develop rugby in China over the next 10 years. There's also been a rush for the broadcasting rights. Tim Martin is spending millions of dollars in this area. He's launched a major digital platform called Rugby Pass on the expectation that audience numbers are going to spike. Rugby right now is perhaps the most exciting sport in Asia in terms of its commercial development potential. But the football opportunity is billions, right? And that's pretty scary. But rugby is emerging, and so there is chance still to create a business and pull this together, aggregate content, because it's coming through that cycle. Once these things are there and done, you know, those opportunities are gone. Local interest in rugby starts here, in the schools. The game has been played in Asia for decades, but on a competitive level, it's been mostly dominated by the expatriate community. That, though, looks set to change, with the hope that eventually these kids can play in the big leagues. Li Shi Chi, BBC News, Singapore.